Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in Juju Can. I hope everybody's having a great week, but they're not. They're not having a great week. This has um, been a really, really bad week for America and really the world. There's a lot going on everywhere. Uh, I would like to start out, I'm just going to make this real short. Um, the East Coast has been devastated. And if you're looking for a place to donate to um, that you know your money is going to get to the right place. There are two places that I can, um, I've, I've looked into and I can pretty much confirm they're doing a really good job. That is the Samaritan's Purse. And also a, a lot of you watch Ryan Hall, y'all, the, um, the weather guy here on YouTube makes excellent videos. He also has a nonprofit where he collects money to give to people at for disaster relief. And he's doing a great job in getting in there and, you know, getting his boots dirty and actually working it. So if you want to donate to either one of those, I will leave links in the description box below. And then to top it all off, we have a strike today, 45,000 longshoremen. And why did I think, am I the only one who thought longshoremen were fishermen? Why did I think that? I don't know, but <laughs> and they're not. They're the port workers that actually bring in all of our goods to America from the East Coast. They all went on strike today because you know they're not getting paid enough or they're afraid that automation is gonna be taking over. And I'm not one to say whether they're right or wrong. What I do know is when I listen to the union president, I get a little mob boss vibes. But today's world, it's changing into the future. They're not making millions no more. They're making billions. And they're spending it fast as they make it. I want a piece of that for my men. I'm not asking for the world. They know what I want. They know what they want. And if they don't, no. Then I have to go into the street and we have to fight for what we rightfully deserve. These people today don't know what a strike is. When my men hit the streets, from Maine to Texas, every single port will lock down. You know what's gonna happen? I'll tell you. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. They get laid off. Third week, malls start closing down. They can't get the goods from China. They can't sell clothes, they can't do this. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. They go out of business. Construction workers get laid off because the materials aren't coming in. The steel's not coming in. The lumber's not coming in. They lose their job. Everybody's hating the longshoremen now. They're gonna be like this. Who's gonna win here in the long run? You're better off sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you, and you have no idea what that means. Nobody does. And after this hurricane and this devastation and you shutting down 45,000 workers and threatening the entire United States stability, <laughs> I don't really feel bad for you. I think it's time for some Reaganomics, you know, with the air traffic controllers. You might be old enough to remember that. So yeah, guys, we got a lot going on, and uh, we're going to talk about you now. Are you prepared for whatever's coming? Now, I'm not going to talk about all the prepper stuff that you could be doing right now. Hopefully, you have some kind of stock to keep you for a while. I'm going to talk about what I know, generators and chainsaws, and go over some of the things that you might not think about. Now, hopefully, if you already own a generator, you've checked that it's going to run this season. If not, if you're capable to do it yourself, there are tons of videos for troubleshooting and trying to figure out how to fix it. If not, I would definitely take it to a repair shop right now. Everybody always waited. We'd know a hurricane was coming for, you know, a week. They would wait until the day of the hurricane, or we'd know an ice storm was coming. Everybody would wait until the day of the ice storm, and shops will not have it fixed in time. So if you have a generator that you are unable to fix yourself, get it in the repair shop now. 99% of the time, it's a carburetor issue. You can look up the parts for your carburetor, call a repair shop, they'll look it up for you. Get a part number and order a backup carburetor if you feel like it. Fresh fuel, brand new carburetor will definitely save you some time, money, and frustration. Also, you want to check your battery. If you have electric start on your generator, 99% of the ones that came to the shop, the battery was always dead. If you need that accessory, definitely go and put it on a charger. One of the biggest problems we ever saw with generators was the oil sensor switch. Many of the generators do have this on them 
them. That way, if you let it run for hours and hours, if it runs out of oil or the oil gets low, it's not going to burn up because the engine is going to die. I made a video about the oil sensor switch and how to bypass that. If it is your issue, I will leave it in the description box below. Now, if you're wanting to tackle fixing it yourself, the Generator Guru on YouTube is James Condone. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. Pretty much any generator that you have, if you have issues with it, he's got a video on it and it'll show you how to fix it. If you're in the market for a generator and you're not sure what you want to buy, depending on how much money you want to spend, I made a video showing you the pros and cons of all the different kinds of generators that you can get. I'm going to leave it at the end of this video and also a link to it in the description box below. Now with the port closing down, odds are gas prices are fixing to go up, even with the election coming. I highly advise you to go get your car full and make sure you have a backup gas can. If you need fuel stabilizer, put it in there because you might not use this gas for a while. I will leave a link to Ethanol Shield in the description box below. Now chainsaws. Hopefully you've started it and made sure that it's gonna run this season. I also would suggest maybe if you have the capability to carry it around in your vehicle, because you never know when you might need to cut your way back home. You're gonna wanna make sure you, that you've got gasoline, two-stroke oil, files, and extra chains. Now, if you've never bought a chain for your chainsaw before, when you go to measure what size chain you need, most people measure the entire bar and that is not how you do it. You measure where it comes out of the saw at. So this is an 18 inch bar from the tip of the bar to right here where it sticks out of the saw. And usually it will still have the information here on the side of the bar that tells you exactly what chain you need. Now, this being an 18 inch bar, it is 62 drivers, three eighths low, and it says it right here. You can usually just look on Amazon and find you the chain that you need. I'm going to leave links to a bunch of chains with what models they fit on at my Amazon store if you need help to find one for your model. So guys, I'm not going to keep going on this video. I just want you to get prepared because, you know, I sort of like you guys. All right. I have the best viewers ever. Every single comment I read, I'm just like in awe of my viewers. <laughs> so I just don't want nothing to happen to you guys. I want you to be prepared, not just with your small engines, definitely with other aspects that, you know, there's plenty of things you can think about, but you never know what's going to happen. And I just want y'all to stay safe. So hopefully this video will save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. Like I said in the beginning of the video. I will leave links in the description box below if you would like to donate to the Samaritan's Purse or to Ryan Hall Y'all's nonprofit. And if you haven't got a generator yet and you're thinking about buying one, I will leave a link to a video right here that you can check out different kinds of generators, inverters, and power stations and see what will work for you. Thanks guys and have a great day.